Michael, you say you love the service at Mekong Village. Tell us what's your favorite thing about Mekong Village, though. Well, my favorite thing is the food. I think the food's great. Uh, but then there's so much else that goes along with that. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere there is superior. Uh, when you make comparisons to other Vietnamese restaurants, I just feel like I'm in a, in a, in a place above. And I like that very much. What's your go-to dish? Probably the Vietnamese pancake or crepe. Um, that there are crepes being made at places all over town, and maybe a couple of the most famous ones are in downtown in the ID, the International District, or up on 12th and Jackson. And we, I've tried all of those. They're good. This one is just better. It's lighter, it's fluffier, and it's just filled so much more full with seafood and vegetables that... Most people traditionally wrap it up in lettuce and, and eat it that way, and I just eat it like an omelet. It's eggy and crispy, and I'm sure it's very healthy. <laughs> Flory, what, what did you try at Mekong Village? That's funny, because I actually had the Vietnamese pancake too, but I don't think we had the same thing. Oh, Because, I mean, not. it was good, it was tasty, but it was greasy as heck. What did you try at Mekong Village? First of all, I have to say, I took my Scandinavian meat and potatoes eating husband into a <laughs> Vietnamese restaurant, which sounds as horrific as it was, and he loved it. I had the spring rolls, which I love. They were light, uh, and the vegetables were just out of this world Fresh. I mean, they were like summertime fresh on a Friday night, and I just, I was just blown away by that. I don't know if you noticed in the spring rolls, they have, they do something that I've never yes. seen before. Tiny little twisted piece of the the wrapper. Yes. They roll it up very, very tightly. It's fried, fried. and then yeah. put in the middle of the yes. roll. Surprise. So you eat it. Surprise! <laughs> it's, and it's so good. It crunches. Yes. It gets the vegetables. Yes. And I've never seen that before. It was lovely with a little yeah. peanut sauce on it. Oh. Take me home. Yeah, me too. I also had the uh, pork uh, rice vermicelli noodle bowl. Mm -hmm. And again, I was blown away by the, the freshness of the ingredients. I mean, the carrots, the cucumbers were just singing. And it was just, it was spring in my mouth. How about sweets? Did anyone have a dessert? I had this banana dessert that uh, was, what was it, wrapped in the sweet rice. Mm -hmm. And it was in the coconut milk. I will say, I like that one a lot because it's not cloying. A lot of desserts that I eat when I go out to restaurants are a little too sweet for me. Mm -hmm. so I've never had a uh, banana with rice before, mm -hmm. so that was a nice little twist. What were you going to say about atmosphere? It can be empty and it can be crowded. It's primarily crowded with Asian folk, and I think that speaks well to what they're doing authentically. Uh, the other thing is, is that it has different seating areas so that you can kind of choose the thing that will work for you. There's a whole area with great big booths that works for families. There's another room that's just tables for four that are set up. Yes. And then there's a whole area like tatami rooms. They're not tatami mm -hmm. rooms, but like mm -hmm. it, behind these screens right. where you can eat in more privacy. And I think, that's, I think it's attractive mm -hmm. that way and provides for the kind of experience that you maybe want to have. You're not all forced into the same room. Mm -hmm. And I like that about it. And the women that serve there, that work there, are the most charming waitresses mm -hmm. in Seattle. Mm -hmm. They're genuine. Genuine. It's mm -hmm. not, they don't put a facade on, which I think that definitely helps with the environment. I feel like I would never cross out a restaurant if I go there only once. I think restaurants deserve a second try. So I feel like if I went there on a week end where it's a little more bustling, where, you know, it's a little more exciting, I would like it that much more. Mm -hmm. So who would you choose to take with you next time you go? A student would love it for sure. Because like you said, portions are huge. It's kind of embarrassing because we had no leftovers. <laughs> Should I even admit what? that? <laughs> you had leftovers for two days. I was nothing. It was empty. You're a student. Yeah, I was going to say. All that brain power. <laughs> so what'd you take with you, Val? Oh, my goodness. Anybody and everybody. It was definitely for family. Oh, and one of the things uh, that I was told by the waitress is if you go on your birthday, you can have your meal for free if you bring three other people. So well, I'll you know, mark it on your calendar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Michael. So Mekong Village was your choice. Sum it up for us. Vietnamese pancakes is a definite. Uh, the spring rolls for me are a definite. And if you just want to have a, a lovely meal that's Asian in beautiful surroundings, that's the place. Flory, what would you say? I would probably go to a Korean restaurant in that area before Mekong Village, but for what I had food-wise, it was definitely tasty. And Val? I, I really enjoyed it. I would bring friends 
family, friends, anyone. And uh, we ordered a lot of different things on the menu, so it, none of it missed for us. You can taste the Vietnamese pancake for yourself at Mekong Village, 12020 Aurora Avenue North in Seattle, 206-257-1560. Open for lunch and dinner. Reservations are not required.